Halloween still a week and a half away, but gear up for some huge Halloween fun this weekend. As KITV4's Joe Kuramoto reports, some gigantic gourds arrived today for the second annual pumpkin carving festival. You might want children a little more back if you can. The 5,000-mile trek from Michigan to Hawaii is the longest for these giant pumpkins and the first for pumpkin carver Ed Moody. Pumpkin Ed, as he's been nicknamed, has a passion for carving giant jack-o'-lanterns that started when his son was a year old. It's grown so much, thousands now view his work at his home in Frankfort, Michigan on Halloween every year. Ed uses only kitchen knives. This is probably 98, 99 percent of my work, those two knives right there. When asked to participate in this year's pumpkin carving festival at the Blaisdell, Moody was overwhelmed. It's, it's a dream come true that I never imagined. Um, I never thought pumpkins would ever get me to Hawaii. However, getting these pumpkins here wasn't so dreamy. The giant pumpkins had to be packed in custom-made crates, and the concern was they might not survive the long journey. I was worried, you know, that the vibrations and stuff might cause them to crack. Uh, you never know. So just how big are these pumpkins? Well, this bad boy here is 1,100 pounds. This one over here is 1,300 pounds. Yep, that's a lot of pumpkin pie. The jack-o'-lanterns Ed will create out of these will be the highlight of the festival that begins tomorrow night. Never been to Hawaii, and of course, bringing his 1,000-pound pumpkins is, for us, huge. Pumpkin pun intended. Joe Kuramoto, KITV4 News. Big pumpkins. All right, tickets are still available for the Pumpkin Carving Festival. It's a fundraiser for the Hawaii Children's Discovery Center and Keiki Oka'aina Family Learning Center. A link with information about the festival is on our website, KITV.com. And here is an interesting pumpkin fact you may not know. Pumpkins are all female. Who'd you think? Mm -hmm.